Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn some basic debugging techniques that is available in this CS Plus for CC IDE. Let's get started. So first of all, let us try to enable the live variable monitoring using any emulator in this particular IDE. So for that, just right click on this emulator debug tool right over here in this project tree and then click on property and select the debug tool settings tab right over here and uh, you just want to provide yes right over here for access by stopping execution so once it is done you can clearly visualize the live values of any variable that has been used in your program so this is the same program that we wrote in one of our previous video that is the interfacing of push buttons with Renesis RL78 microcontroller program. So in this program we are just reading the state of push button which is connected to P13.7 of the microcontroller and if the push button is pressed we will be having the variable value to be 0 that is the button state value to be 0 and if it is 0 I am just turning on the LED by making the particular uh, P66 pin off or else i am just making the led to be off by making p66 pin to be high that's it this is the programming logic that is written in this program i am just going to compile this program you can see the compilation is successful for entering into the debug mode just click on this download the program to debug tool after build or f6 in your keyboard for downloading the program as well as for moving to the debug uh, view of uh, CS plus IDE. I have already connected my even emulator to PC through USB cable and even emulator is connected to my development board and the development board is powered up. So you can see the debug view has arrived and now you can see inside this while of one I am having highlighted marks near all the lines. So for uh, Placing a breakpoint in my program, I just want to click right over here in this white space before the line starts. So just make a single left click in the mouse for placing a breakpoint in your program. So this breakpoints are nothing but points at which the program execution stops whenever the execution comes to this particular breakpoint. So I have placed the breakpoint in the first line inside the while of 1. So when I start my program execution after completing the initialization part, the execution comes to the while of 1 right over here and it will be stopped before executing this particular line in which we have placed the breakpoint. Let me just check that first. I am just clicking on this play button. You can see the program has stopped the execution before this particular line execution and again when I press on the play button the execution continues from this particular breakpoint and goes to the further lines so since we have written only a few lines inside the while of one since this is a while of one which is an infinite loop after executing all these lines again the program comes to this first line so when I press on this play button again after executing all these lines right over here again the execution comes to this line and before executing this it will be passed in this particular breakpoint. You can see whenever I press on this again it comes to the breakpoint. So this is how breakpoints works in kubesuit plus IDE. So you can use this breakpoint for checking for a particular condition or debugging your code in several uh, sequential manner so let me just place the breakpoint right over here inside the if condition also inside the else condition so you can clearly see initially my particular button state will be having the value 1 since the push button is configured in pull up manner so this if condition will fail and only this else part will be executed so when i play this program you can see it has arrived inside the else again when i click on the play button you can see again it is going inside the else part since this condition is failed 
the program execution is not coming to this breakpoint which is available inside the else rather than it is going inside this else part you can see whenever i press the play button it is going to the else part so i'm just removing this breakpoint when i click on play button you can see this breakpoint is not being hit by the program execution because this if condition is not satisfying and now in my development board when i press this push button which is connected to 137 we are clear that this button state variable will have the value 0 and this line particularly p6 is equal to p6 ampersand of negation of 1 left shift by 6 which is available inside the if condition must be executed so when i press on this push button you can see the execution has arrived inside the if condition and it has hit the breakpoint that is available inside the if. So this is how you can debug your code step by step using breakpoints in your program by placing breakpoints in your program. And make sure that after stopping the program execution only you just want to place or remove the breakpoint while running if you are performing this it will crash the IDE so you just want to restart the IDE again so make sure you just stop the execution of the program before placing and removing breakpoints in your programs and the next thing that we are going to see is how to monitor a variable value or register value using watch windows so let's take this variable itself button state whenever you just want to monitor a particular variable just select this variable right click and click on register to watch one you can see watch one window in the right of the ide and here we are having button state variable i am just clicking on play button you can see initially i am having the value 0x01 in this button state variable so if you want to change the format of display of this particular variable just right click and hover over notification and here you can select the type of data that needs to be visualized right over here so let me just provide it to be unsigned decimal you can see i am getting one as the result of the button state variable and whenever i press this button right over here you can see I am having the button state variable to be 0 and the LED is lighted up. When I release, I am having the value to be 1. So, this is how you can monitor a particular variable in a live manner using debugger such as E1 in Renesis microcontroller. And also, not only the variables that you are declaring and defined can be monitored you can also monitor the ports that are available right over here so just right click on this and click on register to watch one double click and select this right click on this and click on register to watch one so now also when you see whenever i click on this p13 is having a change It is a 7th bit is 0 now. Whenever I release, I am having 7th bit is 1. So the total value of the 8 bit register is 80. So in this manner, you will be able to visualize the state or value of internal registers of the microcontroller, whatever the register may be. Here we have monitored the port P13 and P6. That's it. And one more feature is this execute the program from current position ignoring breakpoints and events. So even when several breakpoints is placed in the program, when you click on play button of this one, the breakpoints will be ignored and the program will be executed. So this is a feature in this IDE. Stop it. And this particular uh, icon right over here is useful for resetting the ECU. When I click on this, the ECU will be resetted. So, 
I hope you learned some of the debug features of Cubesuit Plus for CC IDE in this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.